title, The Haunting of Blackwood Diner. In the heart of a small, quaint town, nestled between mist-covered hills, stood the Blackwood Diner. It was a place where locals gathered to share stories over steaming cups of coffee and plates of hearty meals. However, beneath its charming exterior lurked a sinister presence that few dared to acknowledge. Legend had it that the diner was built upon cursed grounds, where restless spirits roamed freely, seeking vengeance for past wrongs. Despite the warnings whispered among the townsfolk, the diner remained open, its neon sign flickering ominously against the night sky. The story begins with Sarah, a young waitress with dreams of escaping the confines of her mundane existence. She took a job at the Blackwood Diner, unaware of the horrors that awaited her within its walls. On her first night, Sarah noticed peculiar occurrences, whispers echoing through empty corridors, objects moving of their own accord, and a chilling cold that seemed to seep into her bones, brushing off her unease as mere superstition. She continued her duties, serving patrons with a forced smile. As days turned into weeks, the strange happenings escalated. Customers reported sightings of shadowy figures lurking in dark corners, and some claimed to have felt icy fingers trailing down their spines. Sarah herself began to experience terrifying visions, seeing apparitions of long-forgotten souls who pleaded for release from their eternal torment. Desperate for answers, Sarah delved into the diner's dark history, uncovering a web of secrets buried beneath layers of lies. She learned of a tragic incident that occurred decades ago, where a vengeful spirit cursed the land upon which the diner now stood. Determined to break the curse and free the trapped souls, Sarah embarked on a perilous journey, confronting malevolent entities that sought to drag her into the abyss. With each encounter, she unearthed fragments of the truth, piecing together the puzzle of the diner's haunted past. But as Sarah delved deeper, she realized that the spirits were not the only threat lurking within the diner's walls. Dark forces conspired to keep their secrets buried, and Sarah soon found herself entangled in a battle for her very soul. The story ends on a cliffhanger, with Sarah standing on the precipice of darkness, her fate hanging in the balance. The horrors of the Blackwood Diner continue to haunt the town, waiting for the next unsuspecting soul to wander into its grasp. And as the night falls, whispers of the cursed land echo through the empty streets, a chilling reminder of the true terror that lurks within. As Sarah stood in the dimly lit diner, her heart pounding in her chest, she felt a presence looming behind her. Turning slowly, she found herself face to face with a spectral figure shrouded in darkness. Its eyes glowed with an otherworldly light, and a cold chill swept through the air. Who are you? Sarah whispered, her voice trembling with fear. The figure remained silent, its gaze piercing into her soul. With a sudden jolt, Sarah realized that she was not alone. Shadows danced in the corners of the room, whispering secrets of the past. Desperate to escape, Sarah stumbled backward, her mind racing with unanswered questions. What dark force had awakened within the diner, and what did it want from her? As she fled into the night, Sarah knew that the horrors of the Blackwood Diner would continue to haunt her dreams. The curse that gripped the town had taken root within her, weaving its tendrils into the fabric of her
her existence. But even as she ran, a sense of dread lingered in the air, reminding her that the true nightmare had only just begun. The spirits of the past watched from the shadows, their whispers echoing through the darkness, beckoning her to return. And so, as the tale of the Blackwood Diner unfolded, Sarah found herself drawn back into its grasp. Her fate intertwined with the cursed land that refused to let go. The horror continued, an endless cycle of torment and despair, waiting for the next chapter to unfold. As Sarah's footsteps echoed through the deserted streets, she couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. Every shadow seemed to conceal unseen eyes, and the distant howl of the wind sounded like whispers carried on the breeze. Returning to her small apartment, Sarah hoped to find solace in the comfort of familiarity, but as she stepped inside, she was greeted by an unsettling sight. Objects lay scattered across the floor, their positions inexplicably shifted as if moved by unseen hands. Heart pounding, Sarah searched the apartment, but found no sign of forced entry. It was as if the very walls themselves had conspired against her, their secrets hidden in the darkness. Determined to uncover the truth, Sarah delved into her research, scouring old records and dusty archives for clues but with each discovery, she only found more questions than answers, each revelation leading her deeper into the labyrinth of the unknown. As the nights passed, Sarah's sleep became plagued by nightmares, visions of twisted faces, and anguished cries that echoed through her mind. She awoke in a cold sweat, haunted by the specters that lurked just beyond the edge of perception. And yet, amidst the terror that consumed her, Sarah sensed a glimmer of hope somewhere within the darkness. She knew that the key to breaking the curse lay hidden, waiting to be uncovered. But as she ventured further into the depths of the unknown, Sarah realized that some secrets were best left undisturbed. The spirits of the past watched her every move, their silent presence a constant reminder of the darkness that threatened to consume her. And so, as Sarah stood on the brink of madness, she knew that her journey was far from over. The horrors of the Blackwood Diner beckoned her back into their grasp, their whispers calling her name into the night. And as she braced herself for the next chapter of her ordeal, Sarah could only wonder what new terrors awaited her in the shadows. As Sarah delved deeper into the mysteries surrounding the Blackwood Diner, she uncovered a series of chilling revelations, hidden beneath layers of deceit and betrayal. She discovered the true extent of the darkness that had taken root within the town. It wasn't just the diner that was cursed, it was the entire town itself. Generations of secrets and sins had woven a web of malevolence that stretched back centuries, each thread intertwined with the next in a tapestry of horror. But amidst the chaos, Sarah found a glimmer of hope. Legends spoke of a ritual could break the curse and free the souls trapped within its grasp. With newfound determination, she set out to uncover the truth, piecing together fragments of forgotten lore in her quest for salvation. Yet, as Sarah delved deeper into the darkness, she soon realized that not everyone was who they seemed. Shadows lurked in every corner whispers growing louder with each passing day, and as she raced against time to complete the ritual, 
she couldn't shake the feeling that she was being watched. But even as the darkness closed in around her, Sarah refused to surrender to despair. With the courage of the damned, she pressed onward, her resolve unyielding in the face of unimaginable horror. And so, as the tale of the Blackwood Diner unfolded, Sarah found herself standing on the precipice of oblivion, her fate hanging in the balance, the shadows whispered of unspeakable terrors yet to come, their voices a chilling reminder of the true horror that awaited her. But even as she faced the darkness head on, Sarah knew that her journey was far from over. The curse of the Blackwood Diner would continue to haunt her dreams its grip tightening with each passing day. And as she prepared to confront the horrors that lay ahead, she could only wonder what new nightmares awaited her in the depths of the unknown. As Sarah delved deeper into the secrets of the Blackwood Diner, she uncovered a hidden chamber beneath its floors, a chamber pulsating with ancient energy and teeming with malevolent entities. It was a place where the veil between the living and the dead was at its thinnest. And Sarah knew that she had stumbled upon something far more sinister she could have ever imagined. Within the chamber, she found relics of a forgotten time arcane symbols etched into crumbling stone. Cryptic writings scrawled across decaying parchment. Each artifact whispered of untold power and unspeakable darkness. And Sarah realized that she had unwittingly stumbled upon the heart of the curse that gripped the town. But as she sought to unravel the mysteries of the chamber, Sarah soon discovered that she was not alone. Shadows danced in the flickering torchlight, their twisted forms coalescing into grotesque shapes that loomed menacingly over her. With a sense of growing dread, Sarah realized that she had become entangled in a web of deceit and betrayal, a web spun by forces far beyond her comprehension. And as she faced the horrors that lurked within the chamber, she knew that her journey was far from over, for the curse of the Blackwood Diner was not easily broken, and the darkness that dwelled within its walls hungered for more than just her soul. It hungered for her very essence, her essence to sustain its insatiable thirst for power. And so, as Sarah stood on the threshold of the chamber, her heart heavy with the weight of impending doom, she knew that her ordeal was far from over. 
the shadows whispered of unspeakable terrors yet to come. Their voices, a chilling reminder of the true horror that awaited her. But even as she braced herself for the horrors that lay ahead, Sarah knew that she could not turn back for the fate of the town. And perhaps even the world rested in her hands and she alone held the key to breaking the curse that had plagued the Blackwood Diner for centuries. As Sarah stepped further into the chamber, the air grew thick with anticipation, as if the very walls themselves were alive and watching her every move. She could feel the weight of centuries of darkness pressing down upon her, threatening to suffocate her with its malevolent presence. In the dim light, Sarah spotted a pedestal adorned with a single ornate artifact, an ancient amulet pulsating with a faint, ominous glow. It seemed to call out to her, its siren song promising answers to the questions that had plagued her since the beginning of her journey. With trembling hands, Sarah reached out and grasped the amulet, feeling a surge of power coursing through her veins. But as she did, the chamber trembled, and the shadows around her seemed to come alive, twisting and writhing in agony. Suddenly, a voice echoed through the darkness, a voice both familiar and otherworldly, its words dripping with malice. Foolish mortal, it hissed, you dare to trespass upon sacred ground, seeking knowledge that is not meant for you. Sarah recoiled in terror, realizing that she had awakened something far more ancient and sinister than she could have ever imagined. But even as fear threatened to consume her, a voice whispered in the depths of her mind a voice of defiance and courage that urged her to stand her ground. With newfound resolve, Sarah faced the entity head on, her heart pounding in her chest. I will not be swayed by your lies, she declared, her voice echoing through the chamber with unwavering determination. I will break the curse that binds this town, no matter the cost. Entity's laughter reverberated through the chamber, sending shivers down Sarah's spine. You are but a mere mortal, doomed to fail in the face of true power, it sneered. But if you insist on defying me, then prepare to face the consequences. And with that, the shadows lunged forward, engulfing Sarah in darkness as she braced herself for the battle that lay ahead, for the fate of the town. And perhaps even the world hung in the balance. And Sarah knew that she would need every ounce of strength and courage to emerge victorious. But as the darkness closed in around her, Sarah could only wonder what new horrors awaited her in the depths of the unknown. And as she prepared to face her ultimate challenge, she knew that her journey was far from over. As Sarah braced herself for the impending confrontation, the chamber seemed to pulse with a malevolent energy, amplifying the sense of dread that hung heavy in the air. Shadows writhed and twisted around her, their ethereal forms coalescing into nightmarish shapes that loomed ominously in the darkness. With a defiant glare, Sarah stood her ground, her resolve unwavering in the face of overwhelming terror. She could feel the ancient entity's presence closing in around her, its malicious intent palpable in every whispered threat and mocking laugh. But even as fear threatened to consume her, Sarah clung to the 
flickering flame of hope that burned within her heart. She knew that she possessed a weapon far more powerful than any darkness, the strength of her will and the courage of her convictions. With a defiant shout, Sarah unleashed a torrent of arcane energy, pushing back against the encroaching shadows with all her might. For what felt like an eternity, she battled against the ancient entity, each blow ringing out like a thunderclap in the stillness of the chamber. But just as victory seemed within her grasp, the entity unleashed a devastating counterattack, shattering Sarah's defenses with a force beyond comprehension. With a cry of anguish, she felt herself being dragged into the abyss, her very essence unraveling in the face of overwhelming darkness. Yet even as she teetered on the brink of oblivion, Sarah refused to surrender to despair. With a final surge of determination, she called upon the last reserves of her strength, channeling the power of her will into a single, desperate act of defiance. And in that moment, as the chamber trembled with the force of their struggle, Sarah unleashed a blinding burst of light, a beacon of hope in the heart of darkness that engulfed them both. And as the echoes of their battle faded into silence, Sarah found herself standing alone in the chamber. The ancient entity vanished back into the depths from whence it came, but even as she breathed a sigh of relief, she knew that her victory was only temporary. For the darkness that had plagued the Blackwood Diner for centuries still lingered, its tendrils reaching out from the shadows, waiting for the opportunity to strike once more. And as Sarah gazed into the abyss, she knew that her journey was far from over the horrors of the Blackwood Diner would continue to haunt her dreams. Their whispers echoing through the darkness. A chilling reminder of the true terror that lurked within. And as she prepared to face the challenges that lay ahead, Sarah could only wonder what new nightmares awaited her in the depths of the unknown. For the curse of the Blackwood Diner was a force beyond reckoning, its true nature shrouded in mystery and darkness. And as Sarah braced herself for the trials that awaited her, she knew that her journey was far from over. As Sarah emerged from the depths of the chamber, she found herself standing once more in the dimly lit confines of the Blackwood Diner. The air was heavy with a sense of foreboding. 
as if the very walls themselves were closing in around her, suffocating her with their malevolent presence. But even as fear threatened to consume her, Sarah pressed onward, her determination unyielding in the face of overwhelming darkness. With each step, she could feel the weight of the curse bearing down upon her, its tendrils reaching out from the shadows, threatening to drag her back into the abyss. Yet, even as she braced herself for the horrors that lay ahead, Sarah could not shake the feeling that she was not alone. Whispers echoed through the empty corridors, their voices a haunting reminder of the true terror that lurked within. With a sense of growing unease, Sarah searched the diner, her eyes darting nervously from shadow to shadow. But try as she might, she could find no trace of the ancient entity that had threatened to consume her soul. And as the night wore on, Sarah realized that her ordeal was far from over. The curse of the Blackwood Diner would continue to haunt her dreams, its grip tightening with each passing day. And as she prepared to face the horrors that lay ahead, she knew that her journey was far from over, for the darkness that had plagued the town for centuries still lingered, its true nature shrouded in mystery and darkness. And as Sarah braced herself for the trials that awaited her, she could only wonder what new nightmares awaited her in the depths of the unknown. But even as she faced the unknown horrors that awaited her, Sarah knew that she would not falter for she had faced the darkness head on and emerged victorious, her spirit unbroken in the face of overwhelming adversity. And as she prepared to confront the challenges that lay ahead, Sarah could only hope that she would find the strength to overcome the darkness that threatened to consume her soul. For the curse of the Blackwood Diner was a force beyond reckoning, its true nature shrouded in mystery and darkness. And as Sarah braced herself for the trials that awaited her, she knew that her journey was far from over. As Sarah's footsteps echoed through the deserted diner, she couldn't shake the feeling that something was terribly wrong. Every creak of the floorboards, every flicker of the dim lights seemed to whisper of impending doom. With a sense of growing unease, Sarah made her way to the kitchen, her heart pounding in her chest. But as she entered the familiar space, she was greeted by a sight that sent a chill down her spine. The kitchen lay in disarray, pots and pans scattered across the floor shelves overturned, and the faint smell of decay lingering in the air. It was as if a violent struggle had taken place within its confines, leaving behind a scene of chaos and destruction. With trembling hands, Sarah reached for the nearest object, a rusted knife that lay forgotten on the counter. As she gripped it tightly in her hand, she could feel a cold sweat breaking out on her brow, her mind racing with fear and uncertainty. But even as she struggled to make sense of the horrors that surrounded her, Sarah knew that she could not afford to falter, for the darkness that had consumed the Blackwood Diner was still at large, its malevolent presence lurking just beyond the edge of perception. With a steely resolve, Sarah pressed onward, her senses on high alert as she ventured deeper into the depths of the diner. Shadows danced in the flickering candlelight, their twisted forms mocking her every move. But even as fear threatened to consume her, Sarah refused to surrender to despair. With each step, she drew closer 
to uncovering the truth behind the horrors that had befallen the diner. Her determination unyielding in the face of overwhelming darkness. And as she braced herself for the challenges that lay ahead, Sarah knew that her journey was far from over, for the curse of the Blackwood Diner was a force beyond reckoning. Its true nature shrouded in mystery and darkness. But even as she faced the unknown horrors that awaited her, Sarah knew that she would not falter, for she had faced the darkness head on and emerged victorious, her spirit unbroken in the face of overwhelming adversity. And as she prepared to confront the challenges that lay ahead, Sarah could only hope that she would find the strength to overcome the darkness that threatened to consume her soul. For the curse of the Blackwood Diner was a force beyond reckoning. Its true nature shrouded in mystery and darkness. But even as Sarah braced herself for the trials that awaited her, she knew that her journey was far from over, for the true horror of the Blackwood Diner had yet to reveal itself. And as she ventured deeper into its depths, she could only wonder what new nightmares awaited her in the shadows. As Sarah ventured deeper into the darkened recesses of the diner, she could feel the malevolent presence closing in around her, its icy tendrils reaching out to ensnare her in its grasp. But even as fear threatened to overwhelm her, Sarah refused to surrender to despair. With each step, she felt a flicker of hope burning within her, a glimmer of defiance against the encroaching darkness. And as she pressed onward, driven by a determination born of desperation, she knew that she could not afford to falter. Suddenly, a voice echoed through the shadows, a voice both haunting and familiar its words carrying the weight of centuries of suffering. Sarah, it whispered, you have faced the darkness and emerged victorious. But the true test lies ahead, and only you have the power to break the curse that binds this place. With a sense of clarity that cut through the haze of fear, Sarah realized that she held the key to ending the nightmare that had plagued the Blackwood Diner for so long. And as she reached deep within herself, drawing upon the strength of her will and the courage of her convictions, she knew that she would not face the darkness alone. With a defiant shout, Sarah unleashed a surge of energy, banishing the shadows that had threatened to consume her and as the darkness receded, she felt a sense of peace wash over her, a peace born of acceptance and understanding. For in that moment, Sarah realized that the true horror of the Blackwood Diner had never been the curse itself, but the fear and suffering that it had wrought upon the souls trapped within its grasp. And as she stood amidst the wreckage of the diner, she knew that her journey was far from over. But even as she prepared to face the challenges that lay ahead, Sarah knew that she would not face them alone, for she had found strength in the face of adversity and courage in the face of fear. And as she stepped out into the light of a new day, she knew that she had finally broken free from the darkness that had threatened to consume her soul. And so, as the tale of the Blackwood Diner came to a close, Sarah knew that her journey was far from over. But with the horrors of the past behind her, she looked to the future with hope and determination. 
knowing that she had faced the darkness and emerged victorious. <laughs>